We are working it today with Andy Challenger of Challenger Gray and Christmas. Always good to have you on our show, Andy. Thanks for having me. So the jobs report came out for September, and the top line number was the disappointment as far as jobs added to the payrolls, but unemployment remains at a 50-year low. What's happening with job cuts? What are corporations saying could be coming down the line with layoffs? Yeah, so the jobs report was really good from the government. When we track job cuts each month, uh, you know, it's an interesting number to see uh, what's happening uh, with employers in terms of how many people they're letting go. Uh, in, in September, we tracked 41,557 job cuts from U.S. employers. That's down 23% uh, from last month. Uh, but overall, for the first nine months of the year, uh, the U.S. economy has still shed more jobs than last year, up about 28%. Why is that? Why are corporations letting people go? Yeah, there's a lot of reasons. A lot of it has to do with uncertainty, and, and it also depends on each sector. There's no right. overall answer. And when we look at retail, right. we continue to see job cuts as the industry moves from uh, e-commerce, or sorry, brick and mortar retail to e-commerce. Very true. Uh, but we're also seeing a 200% increase in job cuts out of the industrial goods and manufacturing, and, and about a 200% increase in job cuts from the automotive sector. And does it have to do with the trade war at all? Yes, certainly uh, within in, un, industrial manufacturing, a lot of those cuts are due to uh, weakening demand abroad that's creating job cuts here. Uh, the uh, uh, trade war has created a lot of uncertainty for those organizations. And, and in automotive, uh, we started to see uh, the GM strike that has now persisted uh, for, for quite a long time start to affect suppliers in the automotive industry. Uh, so, so companies that feed into GM are, are now uh, have had enough business lost and uh, we're starting to see job cuts come from there. What about geographically? Do you get any signs and signals of where you're seeing the cuts the heaviest? Yeah, interestingly, uh, you know, so when we broke it out geographically, we saw that over the first nine months of the year, the majority, uh, uh, the biggest uh, increase in job cuts has come from the southern part of the United States. Interesting. Uh, we saw a nearly 60% increase in job cuts in the south as compared to last year. And a lot of that does have to do with industrial manufacturing, uh, some energy related jobs lost uh, in that geographical area of the country. Well, good to have you here. And thanks so much for your insights. Appreciate your talk today. Thanks for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.